Ransomware is a type of malicious software, or malware, that prevents you from accessing your computer files, systems, or networks and demands you pay a ransom for their return. Ransomware attacks can cause costly disruptions to operations and the loss of critical information and data. Ransomware is a form of malicious payload that best describes the malicious intent of threat actors who seek to extort a payment from the victim because they've successfully taken control of the victim's data or systems. Cryptocurrency is typically demanded for the ransom payment. Ransomware can affect your business data and operations in several ways. First, it can lock up your data or computing device and threaten to keep it locked or worse, unless you pay the attacker a ransom. This can prevent you from accessing important files, documents, databases, or applications that are essential for your business. Second, it can also threaten to steal your data and expose it publicly or sell it to other cyber criminals if you don't pay the ransom. This can compromise your business reputation, customer trust, and legal compliance. Third, it can also launch a distributed denial of service DDoS, attack on your network or website, which can slow down or disrupt your online services and operations. Ransomware attacks can use several methods or vectors to infect a device or network. Some of the most common ransomware infection vectors include phishing emails and other social engineering attacks, operating system and software vulnerabilities and remote desktop protocol, RDP, access. Phishing emails manipulate users into downloading and running a malicious attachment, which contains the ransomware disguised as a harmless looking file, or into visiting a malicious website that passes the ransomware through the user's web browser. Operating system and software vulnerabilities allow cyber criminals to exploit existing flaws to inject malicious code into a device or network. Remote Desktop Protocol RDP, access enables attackers to remotely access and control a device or network that is RDP enabled and exposed to the internet. Ransomware attacks can have devastating consequences for your business. According to IBM's Cost of a Data Breach 2021 report, the average cost of a ransomware attack not including the ransom payment was 4.62 million US dollars. The FBI does not support paying a ransom in response to a ransomware attack, as paying a ransom doesn't guarantee you or your organization will get any data back and also encourages perpetrators to target more victims. Therefore, it is crucial to take preventive measures to protect your business from ransomware threats. Some of the best practices to avoid being exposed to ransomware include keeping operating systems, software, and applications current and up-to-date, making sure antivirus and anti-malware solutions are set to automatically update and run regular scans, backing up data regularly and securing backups, creating a continuity plan in case of a ransomware attack, and educating employees on how to recognize and avoid phishing emails and other social engineering attacks. Ransomware is a type of malicious software that encrypts the data of its victims and demands a ransom for its decryption. Ransomware attacks have been on the rise in recent years, affecting various sectors and organizations of different sizes. However, a new ransomware threat has emerged that targets big companies and critical infrastructure with highly customized and evasive techniques. This new ransomware threat is known as Chilean or Agenda, and it was first discovered in August 2022 by Group IB, a cybersecurity firm. Chilean uses Rust and Go programming languages to create malware samples that can infect both Windows and ESG servers, which are widely used in industrial processes. Chilean also employs a double extortion strategy, meaning that it not only encrypts the data of its victims, but also exfiltrates it and threatens to leak it on a dedicated website if the ransom is not paid. Chilean differs from other types of ransomware in several ways. First, it is very selective in choosing its targets, 
focusing on companies in critical sectors such as oil and gas, energy, manufacturing, healthcare, and transportation. Second, it is very stealthy and hard to detect, as it uses encryption and obfuscation techniques to evade antivirus software and security tools. Third, it is very sophisticated and adaptable, as it can customize its malware samples to suit different operating systems and environments. According to Group IB's analysis of Chilean's dark web presence, the ransomware group has claimed to have attacked 12 companies across 10 countries between July 2022 and May 2023. Some of these companies include Petrobras in Brazil, EDF in France, Hitachi in Japan and Shell in the United States. The ransom amounts demanded by Chilean range from $500,000 to $5 million in Bitcoin or Monero. Chilean is not the only ransomware group that targets big companies and critical infrastructure. Other groups such as Arevil, Akira, and MichaelCores have also been observed launching similar attacks using different malware variants. For example, Arevil exploited a vulnerability in Casilla, a software supplier, to spread its ransomware to hundreds of you. Companies in July 2021 Akira claimed to have raided 16 companies since March 2023 using a new encryptor that can bypass security measures. Michael Kors targeted VMware ESG servers, which are commonly used by cloud service providers. These ransomware attacks pose a serious threat to the security and stability of big companies and critical infrastructure, as they can disrupt their operations, damage their reputation, compromise their data and cause financial losses. Therefore, it is essential for these organizations to take preventive and defensive measures against this new ransomware threat. Some of these measures include implementing multi-factor authentication, maintaining robust data backup strategies, leveraging advanced malware detection solutions, prioritizing security patching, conducting employee training and actively monitoring vulnerabilities.